Hello my friends, how you all doing? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to a brand new series. I'm not even going to let's try this one. We're going to jump straight in and do a series on this game. Uh, this is Parkosaurus, my friends. Apparently this came out a couple of years ago, very, very early sort of beta stages. People really enjoyed it. The developers have been continuing to work and its official release date is uh, next week sometime. Um, I had no idea about this game until one of my viewers actually brought it to my attention i think it was a uh, Ko play koala she said on the discord uh, dan you've got to check out parkosaurus uh, it's a great little game uh, it's official releases next week try to get on it before the big guys do and uh, see what you think of it so i've uh, obviously i bought the game i've had a little play and i do mean a very very little play i'm probably going to be learning this game uh along with you guys essentially in a let's play sort of format um because I, i've literally only had a sort of a couple of hours in it but it's fun i like the fact it's a little bit more complex than your average game of this sort of uh, ilk and uh, yeah i'm really really looking forward to getting started now there is a career sort of like a campaign mode on the world map should you want to do that but i think for the purposes of this series, we are going to start like a sandbox-esque mode, I think, is what we're going to go with. And uh, we're going to try to put a little series together. And today is, of course, going to be our official episode one of our Parkosaurus series. Um, our park is probably going to be given uh, a name, obviously. And uh, we'll, we'll try and keep it with the uh, Fandan ilk. Now, you can play... Uh, this custom mode in standard or you can select sandbox and then when you select sandbox you can actually change uh, all of this stuff here uh, but there's no achievements uh, or your dino book in sandbox mode so we're actually going to play it on standard we're going to leave all of this stuff and so we're going to have to do all of the things like research manage our money and all that sort of thing so let's create our game and, uh, and our level and get our parkisaurus series uh, underway and as you can see we're going to name the park and um, I'm going to be Highly original, and I'm going to call this uh, Fandansic Park after Jurassic Park, ladies and gents. Because, as many of you who are regulars to the channel may know, it's one of my favourite movies and uh, one of my favourite books. I am going to pause uh, the game at the beginning uh, just so the newbies here can take a look and kind of soak it up. So, yeah, essentially, this is it. This is the this is the level that you're given with, uh, you know, to start with. It's uh, it's quite a size and, uh, and you've got to make the most of it, basically. Make the most of that size. Um, at the top, you're going to see all of these little buttons. I'm going to go through them all so you kind of uh, get a feel for what everything does before we jump in and start doing anything uh, but we are going to try to aim for you know trying to build an aesthetically pleasing uh, you know sort of um, you know zoo I guess you could call it a dino zoo if you want to call it that kind of thing uh, but yeah that's what we're going to go for and uh, we're going to see how we get on again basically I want you to try and be as active as possible in that comment section below as well and let me know if you're excited to see this brand new series on the channel basically I enjoyed this game enough and I felt like with its official release next week it had enough legs for us to really put in the effort and do a proper series rather than just let's try it off the bat so first and foremost up the top here let me talk you through all of this so this will be your food your you know your vegetables essentially for your herbivores your carnivores this is going to be sort of their food that's all your meat here is your visitors um, the, that's going to give you a number of visitors in the uh, zoo in the and uh, the ones waiting to pay this is research this is your science this is what you're going to use to unlock things I'll go through that in more detail when we come over here and then these are your hearts and you can um, you basically achieve these by doing certain things in the zoo uh, with your guests and so on and so on and again they un they have uh, this here and they unlock you know dino technologies and stuff like that um, underneath you'll see this is obviously just your time of day your money and this is basically your m money in the bank and this is the money your earnings for the day uh, so it gets put in like a piggy bank essentially down the side this is all your editing tools so as you can see paths fences buildings uh, scenery exhibits uh, terrain and obviously a delete tool here is where you have dino storage and this little inventory this is where everything gets held so as you can see we do have an egg ready to go and be hatched and uh, we will crack on with that in a moment a stegosaurus is waiting for us down the bottom 
this is all stuff like quests uh, you know these will pop up little things you're going to do uh, free cam overview uh, first person mode uh, you're going to get mail and then there's stuff like privacy view water view uh, decoration view employee view and so on and so on so yeah this is just a good way to kind of stay up uh, with you know stuff the privacy view is something we're probably going to be using a fair amount during the course of the series and when we come to it i will explain it a bit more at the top you're going to see uh, park so that's just go to your you know your park and your buildings essentially essentially the screen we're on this one is town and this is what i quite like about this game is that you know you don't just automatically put a feeder in and you're done and you're away you go uh, in town this is where you're going to buy your vegetables buy your meat buy your eggs essentially you know your technologies that you unlock you're going to use those uh you know to you know buy your eggs uh, we've got a hat store here we've got the bank and then you've got your gem store uh, and gems are needed to create eggs we'll obviously get into this in more detail uh, as and when we come to it this one here this is just the office you're gonna be able to see all the stuff you know uh, for some reason things are not coming up they're not so this is uh, it's a bit annoying this is a uh, resumes uh, this is uh, you know uh, this is like a park overview and so on and so on usually when you go over the top of these items uh, oh, there we go. If I was pr to press play, it will allow me to do it. Will allow me to do it. Uh, and then you come here. This is the portal. This is essentially where we have to open the portal and travel to places where we can dig up, uh, you know, fossils and uh, footprints and stuff like that. And it gives us the ability then to unlock more dinosaurs. Again, I will explain more as and when we come to it. This is your science. So this is your science tree. Uh, this is what I was talking about, your research. Uh, this is where you're going to unlock new items, basically. You earn science uh, by completing certain quests and by, um, you know, having scientists in your zoos, your parks, whatever you want to call it, uh, and you have them working and uh, yeah you know as slowly you uh, work your way along uh, the science tree as you can see there's lots and lots of stuff to unlock so there's going to be plenty to this and uh, a lot of legs to it and then this one here is where you unlock your dino technologies new fences um, new uh, plants um, enrichment items that sort of stuff uh, so yeah and there's plenty in here as well so I guess we should really just crack on, ladies and gentlemen, shouldn't we? Um, I am, obviously, like I say, I'm going for an aesthetic feel uh, in this series. So we are going to be placing in, you know, buildings and such and things uh, like that. So um, I think we are going to get cracking with a few bits like that first. Um, so I actually want to put like an arch. I want to put like a like a nice sign um, on at the beginning of our... Of our um, of our park. I'm going to call it a park because it is more of a park than it is a zoo, isn't it? So I'm going to put that there. Um, because we are obviously going for aesthetics, I am going to make sure all of this is nice and even as well. It might be a bit finicky for some, but, you know, we want it to look pretty as well as, uh, you know, work well. Um, so what buildings do we have? Uh, we've got employee building. We've got an info booth, outhouse, which is your toilets. Um, we've got bins. Uh, we've got the gazebo. What have we got in here? So we've got a dino dogs, balloon shop, sweet tooth, and we've got the research station. Now, the research station is going to be a very important tool uh, to put in at the beginning because that's going to be one of the ways that we earn our um, research points. I am going to put this... Um, I'm going to put this towards the front. We're going to put all of our staffs, our buildings and stuff like that together. Um, so I am going to put this here. So as you're going to see, uh, it is going to tell you when you place stuff down, you know, things that you need. Uh, so you have to place your scientists on the, the uh, research buildings. We will hire a scientist in a moment. Um, let's get that path. I am still learning the game myself, so I don't really want to be coming off like some sort of... Uh, expert because i am not um i am still very much learning uh, the game but from what i've played it is a lot of fun i've really really enjoyed it um i've done this a little bit wrong i've been getting into the habit of making the staff path a different color um so it was there so from there from there yeah so I've been doing this a different colour, so I know these are sort of like staffed areas. Um, 
because obviously I am trying to go for trying to create a pretty environment as well as uh, functional. Um, what else do we need? So the so you need an employee building to unlock their potential. Um, we could probably hold off on that at the beginning though because it's quite an expensive building as you can see. Um, so we will hold off on that. Uh, but stuff like toilets and things, I think we need to get those put in at the beginning. I'm going to put a couple of toilets right at the front. Could be a long journey for some people, couldn't it? So uh, they're going to need the uh, they're going to need the toilets. So I'm going to put um, a couple of toilets here, right at the front of the uh, right at the front of the park. Um, so we can rotate the level by pressing Q, and you can rotate your buildings by pressing R, as you see on the screen. Um, so let's uh, let's get this put in there. And I am still to learn all of the hot tools and all that, ladies and gents. I'm sure I will do it eventually. But uh, like I say, this is a very new game to me as well. Uh, so there we go. Our toilets are in. Um, I'm gonna put. Uh, I'm gonna put one. Um. I'm going to put the dino dogs in. We're going to put it right near the beginning. I like the fact it's in like a, this, this cool little like uh, car. Um, it feels as though it would be like right in the sort of car park, doesn't it? Now these, I've got to learn. There we go. Destroy that. I have to remember that I need to, uh, I need to be taking stuff like that out. So I'm going to put this here like so let's join it up with a, with a path there and then um, I might make like a nice little seated area for our for our guests to enjoy their uh, their dino dogs like so. Um, uh, da, 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 da. It is a fun game when we really get going. And we will get going in a moment. I'm going to get the first dinosaur in soon. But I... Uh, because obviously I'm trying to do this as like a bit of a sandbox challenge. Um, oh, there they are. I always uh, lose where the benches are. We could probably put a gazebo in as well, which would be quite nice, wouldn't it? But we're going to save that for a for a later date, I think. Um, let's put one bench there, one bench there, and then we'll put a we'll put a bin on the periphery, I think, of this. There we go. So it's a nice little seated area for when you're eating your dino dog. And uh, obviously we do have decorations and things like that, but uh, I might hold off on this at the minute and uh, we'll, we'll start getting all that sort of stuff in at a later date. So um, well that's that done. We've got our facilities in so our guests can get some food. They've got some toilets. We've got research for our scientists. So uh, I think we should probably hire a scientist first just to get that going so as you can see with your scientists there's certain levels uh, i believe they can reach like level four um they they learn as they go along uh you can also get that building where you can improve um them uh, but they do get better but as you can see the speed ability personality dig and tool use is what they um scientists are judged on the dig will make more sense uh shortly when we uh jump over um and do a little sort of like um portal dig work i guess you could say so uh, i quite like the look of um uh sendita so we're going to get sendita um we're going to hire hire um her we're going to jump back in and our scientist should be probably have to press play she walks in there we go our scientist will be there now with the scientist you just cl you click on them and then you drag them over into this spot on there and they will now earn science 
um, as they go along, basically. There are other ways to earn science, but this is like one of the, the key ways that I've learned at the beginning of the game. Um, and so, yeah, this is a good way to earn yourself some science. Now, the next thing I guess we should really do is get our first dinosaur uh, into the zoo. Uh, today's episode is probably going to run a little longer than, uh, than you might anticipate, but that's because this is very early stages of us setting up our very first dino park basically um so what i'm gonna do is i am going to run um i'm gonna run wood at the areas where we want our guests to see and then concrete where we don't uh concrete will help us get privacy uh for our animals privacy is actually very very important um to the animals and uh you will I will show you uh, like this as we go along, basically. So we're going to go 20... I'm going to go 20 deep, I think. I'm um, going to go off there. And then we're going to go a bit deeper than that. The, the, um, the exhibits do have to be quite a size. But it's probably no surprise to you guys, obviously, what with them being dinosaurs. Dinos... You know, they're going to get very large, aren't they? Uh, I'm going to take it this way. I'm going to take this probably um, 15, so that's halfway. Then we're going to change to the wood again. And I'm basically making this, this I'm, I'm basically making this habitat uh, a bit, bit larger than it really needs to be at the moment. Uh, because we might potentially get another you know, animal to go in here and uh, share the exhibit with the animal that we're going to place in there essentially so um we have an egg already right here so we're going to place the egg in the exhibit um we have a stegosaurus now if you click on the egg it'll tell you um you know the tile that you you need the biome that they like the size they get to uh the size the exhibit kind of needs to be um ours is 665 foot squared so we've we've managed to do that a bit a big enough um You'll then see parent is us. Uh, this one's male, so that's good to know uh, in case we get a female and we want to uh, breed these at a later date. And they are a herd animal, which means they actually need more than one of them uh, to be, you know, really at their happiest. So that will probably be the uh, the first thing we do. We'll go over to the portal and we'll try to discover some more Stegosaurus. Uh, and that's how we're going to do this. So the reason I've done it like this is because these are going to be the viewing area. Uh, that we're going to do now if i click on this privacy at the minute obviously it would all show up as green because there's no people in the zoo but this at the front will be red because this is where they're not going to be able to hide from their guests um and but the stuff towards the back and especially along the concrete walls you will notice will be a lot more private and this is quite an important thing and uh, we will obviously get into this a bit more as the game goes on um we are free wide there so i'm going to remain free wide uh, along here as well um, to there and then we'll bring that to there and that's going to be our guests viewing area of the stego so now we need to obviously sort this um, biome out I guess you could say so what you have to do initially to create um, a rainforest if I show you so basically grass and it will say tile to create forest rainforest or tie guy biome so uh, each one will explain how you do how you do it basically so we've got to cover the entirety of this habitat uh, in grass um, so I believe that will be to there and then we will go to here uh, and then to make this into uh, a rainforest, you click on the uh, habitat's fence wall and it will give you more information. So to get your biome and your biodiversity up for the animal to be happy, uh, you basically just have to follow uh, these tips. So um, to, to get tiger, guy, you would obviously take the habitat up. So you would create mountain ranges. To get a rainforest, you just need to make it wetter. So adding water will eventually turn this into a rainforest. You will then see that they do require trees, bushes and rocks. And uh, once they go green, you will have you know, given the animal exactly what they need. So if you click onto terrain, we're just going to go with some shallow water uh, in this one. Uh, I think oh, I am tempted to do the water sort of towards the front so our guests get to see uh, the animal splish splashing about. So that's not quite enough, but I wanted to get some shape to this anyway. 
So if we take it that way, and there you go, we've turned that into a rainforest. It's only the very early stages. If you put more water in, you'll make it even wetter. So uh, that's kind of how you achieve that. But we're going to just do this. We're going to do a nice little L-shaped lake in the middle, uh, and that should be enough. Now, there are certain plants that you get um, in your exhibits as well that require uh, certain needs. So this dead tree, for instance, requires mud. Uh, and to get rid of this, uh, you could have deleted this before you made the exhibit, but because we've already done that, uh, we'll just add a uh, square of mud underneath that, and it will get rid of that little, uh, that little sign. And it won't, hurt the, uh, it won't hurt the habitat at all. Now, the other thing we need to do, uh, we need to obviously sort out the needs where plants and stuff are concerned. Uh, so let's do that. Let's get our plants in. Now each one uh, has um, it's color coded basically. So the green is the, are the ones that we need to aim for, um, and they're the ones that we're going to use in this envi environment. So I'm going to go with um, quite quite large trees at the back. Um, I'd like to sort of um, obviously make this as pretty as possible whilst. Uh, still being functional you can press r with these as well and it rotates them um but yeah we'll go we'll go we'll go with some trees at the back just to add a bit of density into the uh into the environment there we go so our trees as you see it's gone green so our trees have now been fulfilled um next up we need to do bushes uh, so as a, again, you want to aim for the ones that are green. Uh, bushes, I think we'll aim a bit more towards the front. Uh, that did affect our lake ever so slightly then. Uh, one there, one there. Uh, and then we'll try and get some that are a little prettier at the front. I think they will look nice. Uh, one more and that will do that and then you do your rocks and you essentially just follow the same uh, model uh, as you as you go along and you will see that the uh, the rocks do change uh, shape and, and whatnot does change and so there you go there's your rocks and essentially that's how you make your habitats um, you know it really is that easy once the um, dino hatches um then we will know a bit more about what more the animal needs uh, one thing we do need to do though is we need to put uh, a feeder uh, in the habitat i think we will put it back here and we also need to put a door on here for our staff to be able to access the uh the hab uh, we don't actually need to put a path up to the door. Uh, you will find that staff will actually walk uh, on all over the place. They don't necessarily follow paths, so we don't need to do that. But now we've got a dino, we do need to hire another member of staff. And uh, it is um, veterinarians are the ones that refill, uh, you know, the food containers. They heal and care for your dinosaurs and clean up exhibits. So um, these are very, very important. We're actually going to go... I'm actually going to go with this guy because he's a level two already. Speed, ability, personality. He's going to be very good at his job. A slightly more expensive, but I think we're definitely going to need someone who's uh, who's on the ball. So we're going to get him. And as you're going to see, straight away it says no food to refill feeders. Now we're going to come to that in a moment and we'll sort that out. But while I'm here, I am going to hire a janitor. Um, speed, ability. So he's not very quick, but his ability is good. Um, so I think we'll go with you as basically the janitors pick up the trash repair fences and clean the bathrooms and then we do need security in case we have any rogue dinosaurs basically so we are going to get ourselves a security guard as well I'm going to go a bit more low key with the security because uh, at the moment it's going to be um, a pretty low key uh, facility so let's get that guy as well so we'll go back here, we've got all our staff and they're all going to be cracking on uh, we're just going to press play so they enter the facility uh, there we go. Lovely job. Uh, so we've got to address that food issue. So we need to go to town, visit the vegetables, and we need to buy some. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to buy up to 10. We're going to have them in supply, like so. And then we're going to add a daily delivery. So we'll get um, a delivery of 
uh, we'll get a delivery of four plants a day so that we've got that reserve. So this is an amount of money that we do have to think about uh, each day as well. This is going to be a cost that's going to come out of our facility each, each and every time. But we're just going to have that in reserve and you can set up these daily deliveries, which is which is actually a really, really cool um is a really cool item so that is that um i actually think we've got the basics in there's only one more thing i want to do um like i say i'm still learning gang where things are but yeah we need a donation box and this is going to be a really good way for us to make money um in the facility off of our guests so i'm going to put one either end and uh that is going to be a great way for us to uh to earn the dollar so let's press that play button where the park is closed uh, at the moment you cannot access the feeder okay so let me pause that a second does he actually need the path then maybe he does maybe he does need a piece of path let's put a path there and see if that uh, see if that changes things I didn't think they needed this, personally, but maybe they do. Maybe I'm wrong. Um, nope, he still can't. Right, must be to do with the placement of it then. Maybe, uh, maybe some of the stuff in here needs uh, needs moving about so that he can so that he can get in here. Should be able to get in. If we put it there at the back, hopefully we'll be able to get there now. No? Can you not get there? Doesn't appear you can. There we go. That was very strange. Didn't really understand that. He couldn't work it. He couldn't work it out. Essentially, could he? But um, but there you go. He's feeding. He's filling that up. And uh, our scientist is already cracking on with some science. We'll get to that in a minute. We will start sorting out some science research. But as you can see, our egg is ready to hatch. So we're just going to click on that. And there you have it, ladies and gents. There's our first dinosaur in Fandasic Park and uh, that little stego is making a right old racket isn't he and also going for the most extreme swim I hope he's good at holding his breath underwater but uh, but yeah there you go there's our little stego so now we can click on him and we can see what needs uh, the animal has so happiness is uh, pretty low likes the look of his exhibit he is hungry so he needs to find that food um, privacy um, 500 of a thousand so it's looking pretty good um, He's pretty healthy. He does need enrichment. We haven't um, we haven't researched it, and he needs some social. So we need do really do need to crack on with finding him uh, a buddy, basically. But uh, yeah, he's going to probably head over to the food and get munching on that. That will cheer him up a little bit. Um, but yeah. So if we look at the privacy view now, it still says pretty good. Do I have to click on the dino? This is the thing. I I, I I'm still trying to learn. Um, but yeah, I think until the guests come in. Uh, but yeah, let's let's open the zoo. But yeah, we won't know that until the guests come in. But we've got enough. We've got the little food station over here. Research has begun. We've got a dinosaur. We have the basics, basically, ladies and gents, to be able to be making a bit of money now, basically. So next step, though, that we're going to do is obviously we're going to head over to the portal uh, this is going to be really important for us to get our stego uh, a, a buddy basically so um what we have to do here is as you can see because we're going to go with it there's loads of different options there's um depths of dig that you can go with uh this is where you find all your animals get added uh to do stuff but uh, a free this dig depth is free so that's what we're going to do each one of these will allow us to unlock uh, segments i'll show you in a moment so it's, uh, you simply press open portal okay and then they go on a little exploration so they're going to go from this point to this point when that's ready they will let us know we'll jump in and we will dig and try to find some uh, fossils and stuff 
for our dinos. Uh, while that is going on though, we can head over to the science tree. Um, our science has been building up, as you know, because uh, our science has been hard at work. And uh, I guess we should really just sort of start um, unlocking our first thing. So we've got Tom's Wonton, uh, Hot Dog, huge so we can get a bigger dino dog there uncommon gem is uh is an item we can unlock or we can get smart water we can get uh twirly we can get cool glasses the dinos actually wear clothing which is uh a little weird but funny at the same time um we can unlock info signs if we should so wish um but i think i'm gonna go with the gem it is it does take the most research but uh you're gonna see that they are actually very important so we're gonna unlock that and then it moves the tree along uh, like any game of this sort of ilk, uh, it's going to move its way along. We've got our scientists continuing to do the research. If we head over to the heart as well, uh, we need to really find some stuff that's like enrichment based. Um, so we've got the flat rock shelter, shed shelter, large meat field, a rib cage, toy cardboard box and tyre. So I think this is probably the best one that we can go with right now. So let's unlock that. We do still have nine hearts in reserve. I think I'm going to save them though um, for now. But we've unlocked that because enrichment was something that this dino wanted. So uh, yeah, well, that's something that we could probably place in here. I say he got stuck or is he actually working? Is he actually doing this? He's saying. I'm not sure. He looks as though he hasn't left. He's just wandering at the moment. I'm a little worried that this uh, this isn't working for some reason. But we will soon see. If he uh, if he exits, then we know it. Yes, okay, that's good. He exited. It's working. It's fine. Um, this is obviously early access, so. Um, they have said that there could be bugs and whatnot, so I do. We do have to keep a uh, keep an eye out for stuff like that. But uh, let's head over here uh, and the enrichment. So we're going to get this little tire thing because um, the dino wants it. So let's put it in there, and that's essentially a little bit of enrichment for him. Um, and uh, yeah, he can use of that. So basically, at the moment, we're kind of just waiting for the portal. And uh, as I say that, we get a little thing. So they've done the journey for the exhibition. We can now press dig. Now, each one of these staff members that currently work for the zoo have a different um, have a different square that they can unlock. So as you can see, the top one, you've got 20 single squares. Sindita, you've got three. You get five uh, goes at these. Uh, Compton, you get five goes at this. Uh, Kiranus, five goes at this. And... Uh, uh, Pritrine, you get five goes at this um, and essentially you click on and you've got to find the items underneath so as you can see we've got those two there so you get footprints and fossils that's basically what you're looking for um, in these early stages this is uh, this proves quite easy because the expedition map is quite small but apparently these get larger uh, as you go along um, there we go and you can change the direction of these um, but yeah if you use your if you use your noggin it's quite easy to uh, to find out where they are oh, I didn't mean to click on there twice there could potentially be one here as well yep I had a feeling there would be um, and so now based on the uh, on the map there can only be one here at the bottom or here but the edges are not dark enough we'll just have a look anyway but yeah that's it we are done and dusted so we can now return home so we will have got all of those fossils we will have got all of those footprints and they now make their way over into the egg store so if we move over here and we go to the store uh, and we click on uh, Stegosaurus over here. You'll see we've got six footprints, got, uh, two Stegosaurus fossils in reserve. We just need a gem. So we have to go back to the store, over to the gems, and we need to buy an imperfect gem. So we've got one there. Back to the uh, back to the egg store. 
uh, you will see that uh, the, the, the day, when the days finish, you get an update on how the zoo's done or how the park's done that day. Uh, so you can go and have a look at your feedback. Uh, you can see where all the money's gone, where the money was made and uh, how you're doing. You can get guest, um, you can get guest reviews um, and all of that stuff. We gained one heart. We've gained 28 science in that day. We've got one happy dino. Um, and uh, this is like a little overview of your park and stuff. And you can just go through all of this. It's really fascinating. There's a lot to it. And uh, it tells you your dino appeal, your rating of your zoo, uh, and the things you need to improve. So actually, we need to put in some light in. We could probably do with some gift shops and stuff like that. So that's good to know. Click on next day. And it skips. It is a proper day-night cycle, which I actually really, really like. I don't think enough games uh, are doing this. Uh, quest. We actually got uh, we got our first quest. Um, we will just uh, we will just um, read this first, sort this out, and then we'll go back and we'll purchase that egg, and I'll continue doing that. Uh, we have a problem. One of the employees was messing around in the science lab. The time portal malfunctioned. It opened a portal to the future time where the world is only hot dogs. Uh, long story short, we have a surplus of hot dogs, and we need to sell them to clear out some storage. Um, press accept sell 15 hot dogs and this is our first quest basically we already have a hot dog stall so uh, with a little bit of luck that should be something that we are able to do quite easily but let's head back here we can head to the egg now and so as you can see um, all of the items have now been achieved so we can create an egg and just like that we've got ourselves a brand new egg head back here and uh, we go to our inventory and we can place the new egg in here. So this little guy will eventually have a buddy. If we click on here, uh, we've got two males, which is <clears throat> a little unfortunate, but uh, at least uh, at least they've got uh, a mate and whatnot. Uh, we've had our delivery of plants, which is goody, good, good. There's lots of trash around at the moment. So what I'm actually going to do is uh, just going to pause this a second. Uh, this is something I've noticed <clears throat> is really difficult to stay on top of. And I think that certain staff need to be given certain jobs. And so that's why we're going to head over here. And uh, we're going to have a look for another janitor. And they're going to be in charge of rubbish. Um, <clears throat> and I think we're going to go with uh, Sendico. We'll hire Sendico. Uh, we'll go back in. Is that Sendico there? No, it's not letting me do that. We have to press play to make for them to go in first. There we go. So Sendico, um, we are... It's not selected you, is it? There we go. Uh, we're just going to have you... Um, we're going to have you doing the garbage, I think. Pick up trash and dispose of the garbage that's what we're going to have you doing i think that's going to make this far more efficient because as you can see there's garbage everywhere and uh, that when the janitors can't look at stuff like fences and things uh, it can become a little bit of a problem so uh yeah we're definitely going to do that but they're both on it they are both picking up the rubbish but yeah, look at the actual state that the uh, <laughs> that the park gets in. It is crazy. Uh, a lot of that is that we don't have enough bins around. We've only got that one bin there. So I think that's probably going to be something that we can uh, we can do right this second. Is uh, is actually bang a couple more bins um, into the uh, into the facility. We'll bang one there. We'll bang one there, and that will make that uh, a little better. And hopefully, it will help people keep the uh, park a little bit tidier. Um, so yeah, so that's that. So that's kind of like, that's kind of like stage one, I guess you could say, ladies and gents. That's the basics of getting your, um, dino park up and running. Uh, you know, getting your first animal in, getting a little food area set up, getting your research started, learning how to use the portal, and, uh, and then from there... You just build and you just continue and you get quests and, and it's going to be a really, really fun little series, basically. And uh, yeah, I just kind of wanted to get this one started. I think we'll wait until this is a bit cleaner, a bit cleaned up, because it is a right old mess at the moment, isn't it? Um, but yeah, you'll, you'll, you'll find as time goes on, you know, with this series, we'll hopefully together learn a bit more. Um, we've got 10 hearts for completing that quest. That's really, really good because uh, they're really important, aren't they? I think as we've done that, we will just head over here and uh, we've obviously... <clears throat> we should have more than 10. 
We should have more than ten, surely. Oh, I did do some research, but didn't we have like six in reserve? And that is a surprise. But we'll do this one. We'll get the uh, we'll get this uh, this uh, flat rock shelter and the shed shelter unlocked. I don't think our stegos need that, but um, but yeah, we will do that. I'm gonna wait uh, today for our stego to uh, so basically need fun and decoration that's what's that's what's lower on the agenda for our guests that's uh causing a bit of a problem so i'm going to just pause it and uh we're gonna we're gonna take a look at this so um buildings facilities decorations so let's try to sprucey sprucey this up a little bit shall we um let's think about putting one of these in these are quite nice uh these are quite nice little uh items actually I might put one there. And what's nice is you can actually join them up. And even the corner pieces, they can go all the way around. Um, so we'll go one there. And we'll go one next to it as well. Just as a little viewing area there. Um, and then I think... I might just put some hedges in front along there like that I think something along those lines I might put it sort of in front just to kind of like decorate it up a little so we'll put one there one there so like all on the corners one there and we'll go with one next to that as well so there we go that's just a uh, Beautifying the uh, beautifying the facility a little. Um, I do need to find our little Stegosaurus. Where where is our little guy? Oh, there you are. They're so tiny at the beginning. They really are. So privacy map. That's a very very private. Habitat, that one. Unless I'm doing this completely wrong. I might be. I might be doing this completely wrong. To be honest with you. But, uh, but yeah, that seems to have cheered our guests up a little bit, actually. Um, putting just a small amount of, like, de like decoration into the, uh, into the facility. So what's your problem? Yeah, decoration and fun. There's no fun, apparently. They require fun. Balloon shop is is probably would bring a little fun to the uh, to the place. Um, do we put our balloon shop near the entrance? I like the idea of it, sort of near a nearer the entrance so let's do that so much for uh for finishing up hey eh, guys i was gonna i was gonna call it a moment ago and now i'm uh i'm here doing decorating and all that sort of stuff it's a very lovely little game though it's a right addictive little game so i don't mind to be honest playing a little longer but there you go we've got uh some fun in so we're basically just meeting the needs of our of our needy little guests is uh, is the most important thing. Um, I think what I am going to do as well, um, going to add, I'm going to add a strip of path like so. Right there, we can decorate this little area up at the front as well. I think at a later date. The balloons are cool. Ha ha, you can pop the balloons. Brilliant. Oh, you love to see it, don't you? In a weird kind of way, you love to see it. Um, research is continuing. And, uh, yeah, there we go. I just wanted to get the second, uh, wanted to get the second uh, Stego out. And uh, we're probably going to have to make their habitat bigger, is what I'm going to imagine is what they're whinging about. Um... So, 
Yeah, we do. We need to make it bigger. Um, essentially, this cannot cannot serve the needs of two stegos because they need 420 square foot. Um, so that's going to be 840 square foot that's needed for the uh, for the animals. So um, I might just kind of like extend it, and we could make another viewing area back here. But um, but yeah, I think we just obviously we just need to make it a bit bigger, ladies and gents. Is uh is the aim of the game here? Um. I don't know how much bigger we need to make it. I don't know if this is going to be enough. Probably isn't going to be enough. Alright, that's going to be needed to be deleted. It's not a new exhibit because we're actually going to delete that fence. That piece there. There we go. Is it still not big enough? How big, are, how big is that? Hang on. Oh, it was very, very close. It was almost a really good effort, that. Um, I just need to go over this way a little bit further. Um, Get that delete tool. But again, it's another game with a lovely little soundtrack as well. Just just good just good stuff. I'm finding all these games, thanks to you guys, really. I don't really know too much about new releases. I don't stay up to date as much as I probably should, considering I have a variety gaming channel. But uh but yeah, I I, uh, I am so glad that um my good my good friend play koala let me know about this so yeah it's fantastic so we do now need to add more water we need to add more plants to get this to where it needs to be it has cheered these little guys up though which is uh which is always good to see so let's just add i'm going to add uh, like another little body of water just over here just a small a smaller body of water i think um that just about made it a rainforest but i'm just going to add a little bit more uh just a tad more there and then um, we will head over to the plants again. So we need a few more trees. Not many. And we need a few more bushes. Again, probably not many. One or two, probably. Something along those lines. Yeah, there we go. And so that is that. That's uh, that's all done and uh, dusted. And I think what we'll do is we'll just play this out until the next day is uh, is done and dusted, and then we will return for another episode of this uh, in the not too distant future. I think, uh, my friends, because the day is gonna is gonna end soon. Um, and I think that will be uh, a nice way to sort of uh, see this out. So what we will do, though, is we'll get this portal started so that we can start looking for our next species uh, that we're going to introduce into the zoo, which is going to be our Cerat Ceratopsia, I believe is how that said. Open the portal. Let's get that going. Let's get those exploring uh, so they can come back. We have still got some very unhappy guests. Um, not too sure why they're so unhappy. Their fun isn't quite there. The decoration. Um, yeah, we probably do need to start putting in more stuff like trees and that. We could make a little park here. But I was more concentrated on, you know... Um, oh, right. That's nice. The social's going up. I was more concentrating... I was sort of more... I was concentrating more, even. I will improve the English. I was concentrating more on uh, just kind of getting the basics in and kind of showing you the ropes and what this game has to offer everyone. So, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, and uh, please be sure to be dropping me likes and stuff on this, and I'll be sure to keep doing this series and uh, bringing you as much as possible as and when I can. But, um, yeah, we're, we're going to be 
coming towards the end of the day real soon. I'm going to speed it up so we can just get through this day, so we can finish off today's episode, so we know where we're at next time. But uh, the park stays open a long old time. Um, so there we go. Uh, we're going to have our countdown, and uh, a new day will begin. And uh, I won't skip the day. I think I will leave it. Uh, and we'll do that ready for the beginning of uh, of our next episode. And so there you go. That's the end of another day. And that's going to be the end of our very first episode of uh, this Parkasaurus um, series. I hope you've enjoyed it, my friends. Let me know what you make of it in the comment section below. If you've got any helpful tips, if you're someone who's played this game, feel free to let me know in the comments as well. Like I say, I'm learning this game probably as much as you are watching. But uh, I hope you've enjoyed it. And I'm hoping that you will all return next time. So if you're new to the channel, please consider hitting that subscribe button. It's the best way to support myself and this channel. Channel. Drop a like on the video if you've enjoyed it. If you visit the description box, you'll find loads of great stuff like my Discord, my socials, and all that good stuff. We are really building a fantastic community over on Discord, especially, and we're having a lot of fun. Uh, so, yeah, that's it, my friends. Until next time, have a great day, and I'll see you real, real soon.